Well, I think the, the international perspective uh, for a studio like ours, that's a small creative studio in the heart of Copenhagen, is quite interesting uh, these days. Uh, because I think had we done exactly the same work as we do now, but just 10 or 15 years ago, we would have worked primarily in Copenhagen and around Copenhagen. But now we have projects on three different continents in more than 10 countries, uh, doing everything from interiors to architecture and product design. And that has in many ways a, a relation to how we communicate in, uh, on social media platforms. It's so easy to find kindred spirits uh, that share the same approach to design, the same aesthetics and start up a collaboration due to social media. So that has really changed the way we work, our perspective and, and also our design language in many ways. Most of our projects, furniture, or products has been born from architectural cases, but it also tends to be the other way around. Maybe we have a, a client um, somewhere in the world where we do uh, their showroom or they have a, a real life architectural case that, that, we, that we build furniture um, or, or designs for. We always mix ideas and talk with each other about the projects, but sometimes an idea spikes in, in, a, in a restaurant project and because they need a lamp. And they come ask us, uh, the designers, can, can we do a lamp? And it kind of evol evolves from a specific need in a restaurant and then ends up with a client that mass produces this specific lamp and everybody's involved. After this happens, the lamp kind of finds its own, its own way in, uh, in the world and evolves into a series of lamps. So, wall lamps, ceiling lamps, floor lamps. Um, and I think that's, that may be the most interesting part of, of having a, a multidisciplinary uh, design, design studio. We always have discussions on, of how we can mix more internally uh, because we have different talents and different ideas, uh, even though we're in the same studio. So we usually we've always been designing things and, and then presenting the product. Um, but it's, it's now obvious that people are more interested in, in the whole process from, from the idea to the final product. Now it's, it's pictures of uh, prototypes and uh, early sketches and pictures from factory visits and even looking at the early ideas is super interesting for, for the customers. I think social media is a very important tool for us. It's, uh, it's uh, the image of our studio. Um, for many people, it's the first experience they have with our studio. Uh, but it's also important to think that it's, a, it's only, only a visual uh, part of what we do. In our studio, we work very closely with textures, materials, and how you experience architecture and design with not only your, your, your eyes, but also with your hands, with your ears, with your, with your body in, in, in general. That's a very important factor for us. That Design is not only meant for, for the eyes, but it's something that, that relates to us on a, on a much deeper level. For 2021, I really hope that we're able to, to travel again. There's something about the physical presence, about being with, with other people. Uh, there's something about getting out there, getting new inspiration that you need in order to produce new things, in order to be creative.